And without question, a very important afternoon of college football for former Bullock High School quarterback Ron Palace's first start ever here in front of 65,000 fans in South Bend, Indiana. Join us for the next 60 minutes as we present Notre Dame football 1994, the beginning of the Ron Palace era. From Notre Dame Stadium in South Bend, Indiana, WBRE-TV presents Notre Dame football, the Ron Paulus era. Brought to you in part by the law offices of Corrigan, Porter, and Quinn. First National Bank of Berwick, we're always in touch with you. Pennsylvania Miller's Insurance Company. The insurance company with a policy to care. Ford, your quality plus Ford dealers. Northeast Fitness, your fitness solution. And Bill Gray and Sons Furniture World, furnishing homes for 42 years. Unbelievable. What is Diane? You won't believe it. Believe what? Bill Gray and Sons Furniture World, Route 11 in Berwick. Would you believe you can get anything you want for your home? And the prices and selections are second to none. They have been in business for over 40 years with quality furniture and the most unique accessories in four full floors, plus a huge warehouse loaded with all kinds of furniture. Bill Gray and Sons Furniture World, Route 11, Berwick. They're open every evening till 8 p.m. and Saturdays 9 to 5. It's unbelievable. It's the best kept secret in northeastern Pennsylvania. The final days are here. Save during your Quality Plus Ford dealer's factory authorized clearance. Get a great clearance deal in America's number one sellers now. Drive the number one car in America. Ford Taurus for just $249 a month now. Don't wait any longer. $249 a month on Ford Taurus. Get your best clearance deal on every Taurus now. Ford's factory authorized clearance is at its final days. All these Fords are moving. Hurry, see your Quality Plus Ford dealer now. When big news happens, count on 28 Eyewitness News. When U.S. Air Flight 427 crashed outside Pittsburgh, Eyewitness News was the first to break the story. Eyewitness News was the only local station to bring you live coverage from the scene with its own team of reporters, videographers, and satellite facilities giving you the best coverage possible. And Eyewitness News was the only local station that continually updated you throughout the day and night. When big news happens, count on 28 Eyewitness News. American Journal, Monday at 12.30 on WBRE-TV. You're watching a Notre Dame special, the Ron Paulus era, on WBRE-TV. Now live from South Bend, Indiana, here's Jim Miller. Indiana, you're watching the man himself warming up in the pregame, number three out of Berwick, Pennsylvania. Ron Paulus, he electrified the major college football world last weekend with a stunning college football debut. He was 19 of 24 for 291 yards and four touchdowns as the Irish blew out the Wildcats of Northwestern, 44 to 14. During the week, he was questionable going into the season opener of 1994, but it, he certainly lived up to his buildup and then some. Soldiers Field in Chicago was the setting for the long-awaited debut of former Berwick High School All-American quarterback Ron Pallas as he would face the Wildcats of Northwestern in a nationally televised encounter. He had missed more than a year of football, had some tendonitis and preseason training camp, and Irish head coach Lou Holtz had some reservations about Ron Pallas starting going into the 1994 opener. We'll find out today on Ron Pallas. They've cleared him to throw 30 passes, which isn't very much. He's only been able to throw two days in the last 12, as I said. But this is not uncommon in talking to Coach Curry. Uh, Ron is very sharp mentally. Normally, there would be no way in this world you'd even consider a quarterback who's here. He missed all last year, hadn't played in two years as a freshman. Uh, there's so much pressure on him, expectations. But... Uh, it depends upon how he, how he throws today, how sharp he is mentally, and how his arm is tomorrow. Please don't ask me after practice today. Well, give me a decision on Ron Pallas. I can give you a tentative decision on Ron Pallas tomorrow, and I can give you a definite decision on Ron Pallas on Thursday. 
But if he can throw today and is sharp and can throw tomorrow and has no sore arm problems, can throw two days in a row and comes up Thursday and he's okay, then uh, based on what I've seen, that uh, he would be the starter. But th this remains to be seen. We just have to see how strong his arm is. And we, we certainly want to play the quarterback. It gives us the best chance to win. But by the same token, I don't want to put him in a situation where he isn't adequately prepared, although he has gone through a lot of the practices mentally. But there isn't any other quarterback in America to even consider doing this. But uh, with Ron Pallas, he, if anybody can pull this thing off, I, I think he can. Lou Holtz said that Ron Pallas was ready two days before the football game. And it didn't take long for this talented quarterback to take over. His first pass ever in college football was classic. Ron Pallas connects with wide receiver Mike Miller for 29 yards to put the Irish deep into Northwestern territory. Later in the game, Ron Pallas went deep for the first time. He would hit Mike Miller with a 42-yard bomb that set up his first college touchdown and Notre Dame's first score of the night. That came when he fought off the blitz and hit Derek Mays on a nine-yard out pattern, and Notre Dame went out in front of Northwestern, 7 nothing. With time running out in the first half, Ron Pallas and the Irish went deep to pick up his second college football touchdown. He goes right down the middle of the football field and finds Mike Miller with a 46-yard scoring strike, and Notre Dame led Northwestern 14-3, and Ron Pallas was simply in total control. With five seconds left in the first half, Paulus made it three touchdowns on the night. He connects with Ray Zellers for two yards, and Notre Dame led Northwestern 21-3 at halftime. Ron Paulus capped off a storybook college football debut later in the game with a 36-yard touchdown pass to Derek Mays, and the beginning of what could be a most spectacular college football career was underway. And no one could be any prouder of that effort of Ron Paulus than his high school football coach George Curry it's an awesome feeling I tell you I had tears in my eyes you know you know when you spend that much time with a youngster and um, you know I'm very close to the family they're great people and uh, it's like your own it's like your own out there and I think everybody in Burke felt that way because you know, he's just a great person you know and not only a great athlete he, he's just a he's just a, a, a super individual and and you're just so happy for him and and you, you went through every down with him you you were sweating with them. You were cheering for them. You, 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 were, you were part of it. It was like you were in the, you were in the huddle. I, I want him to live up to our expectations. And my expectations against University of Michigan. He's going to provide us with great leadership. He's going to play with great poise. He's going to play well. And he's going to compete very, very well. Other than that, I have no feelings towards statistics or anything else. He, he just, he's a solid quarterback, and uh, I have great confidence in him. And for a freshman, he's phenomenal. It was only one football game, but what an effort and quite a stepping stone for the home debut of Ron Paulus later today in Notre Dame Stadium against the Wolverines of Michigan. And there is really no way to walk in the world of the Paulus family this afternoon. Consider the emotions for Ron Paulus last night knowing that tomorrow, meeting today, he would be the starting quarterback for the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. For Ron Paulus Sr. and Sue Paulus, his mom and dad, to watch their son come out of the tunnel this afternoon and be the quarterback has got an awesome and special, special feeling. A hard, hard feeling that is simply too difficult to even relate to and believe. Um, well, not really, because I'll believe it when I see it. And when he's out there, uh, I, I guess I guess that's just the kind of guy that I am. Um, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it, but with what happened in the past, I guess maybe I'm still, excuse me, just a little bit afraid to, uh, to believe it's all going to happen yet. Well, I'm sure I'll be very nervous on that day and that moment. Um, I imagine myself uh, shedding some tears because it's, it'll be overwhelming and it'll be thrilling. It's a time to thank the good Lord for. <laughs> and uh, I know we'll just be very excited and proud of Ronnie. <laughs> There will be a moment when you'll have to come through the tunnel, and it'll be the first game at South Bend. <laughs> That's got to be quite a feeling. I'm sure it will be. I, you know, I can't comment on the, what it's going to be like, but I mean, I, I'm really expecting that it's going to be a super feeling, and I, I can't wait to do it. 
The Round Palace Express became derailed last year about three days before the beginning of the 1993 season. He suffered a broken collarbone, his first major injury ever in a high school and limited college football career. The injury hit with dramatic suddenness and cost Round Palace the entire 1993 Notre Dame football season. That was awful. That was unbelievable. It was the first time that I ever had to uh, miss a, an extended amount of time. I mean, it was it was real hard to take. At first, you know, I, I thought, why is this happening? You know, this isn't supposed to happen. I never got hurt before. I played uh, no problem before, and all of a sudden, I'm having tr I can't even move my arm. Uh, so it was it was a big shock, but I got over it once again with the support of the, the students and the and the football and the program there and the people back here and everybody, all the mail I got and all the all the well wishers. I mean, it was really I got a lot of support and it really made it easier to deal with. So and I knew I was going to get over. I mean, it wasn't going to last forever, and sooner or later I'd be back. I, I can remember that that day that it happened. My wife was having a yard sale and. Uh, she said, boy, the scrimmage must be over about now. This is about noon. And um, I said, Susan, don't worry about it. He's going to be there. They're having a scrimmage with the scout team. I'm sure he's fine. And about an hour later, we got a phone call that uh, he did injure his shoulder. But and it was. It was a very upsetting day because uh, he worked his way right to the top. And uh, things were going just as planned. And well, those things happen. What can you do? It was truly devastating to us. And it was a time for us to put things back in perspective again. I guess we maybe we're just focusing too much on Ronnie playing football. And, and I, I really believe it was a, a character building year for Ronnie, I'm sure. Uh, he was a fine young man without it, but <laughs> you always have to look for some good in it. And that day we weren't finding any good, believe me. <laughs> Welcome back to Notre Dame Stadium in South Bend, Indiana. Our first guest to my left, no introduction needed, Regis Philbin and Ron Palace's debut last week, four touchdowns. How did you feel? I was so proud of him. I couldn't wait, and he exceeded all of our expectations. I know everybody said that all week, but he really did. It was just fabulous. And Lou let him throw the first time, the first play of the game, you know? And then he let him throw through the whole night, and thank God he let him throw because we weren't running that well. <laughs> you were part of the press conference last night. His mother and father saw their very very first press conference that emotion was overwhelming oh I'll bet it was yeah sure I I, I just can't imagine what they're going through today uh, here in Notre Dame Stadium and what he's going through today Terry Hanwright did the pep rally and he said ah the ghosts of Rick Meyer the ghosts of Paul Horning you know all those old ghosts coming back uh, swirling around Ron Palace but he's the real thing you know Lou Holtz is very sparing in his praise and but Lou says this guy is great we thank you for coming on. Enjoy your afternoon you here. I really am, and I'm going to enjoy Ron Paulus. Thank you, sir. Regis Philbin and our program on Ron Paulus live from South Bend, Indiana, will continue following these important messages. <laughs> People. People who are committed to the future of the community. That's the Penn Miller's difference. People committed to getting the job done in the office or working side by side with you in community activities. Penn Miller's people are your neighbors, neighbors who care. We're proud to be the insurance company with a policy to care. Attorney Joe Quinn has been recognized in the book, The Best Lawyers in America, for each of the past five years. I'm proud of that recognition. And of our record in courtrooms throughout this Commonwealth, representing the seriously injured in their search for just compensation. We'd be proud to represent you and your loved ones. If you've been seriously injured, I guarantee you, no one will work harder for you than we will. You've always strived for something beyond the basic necessities. At the First National Bank of Berwick, we can help with a loan for whatever you have in mind. Home loans, auto loans, or personal loans, tailored to meet your individual needs at rates you can afford. So if you're ready to borrow, the First National Bank of Berwick is ready to lend. Because we invest in our future by investing in your future. The First National Bank of Berwick, in touch with you, member FDIC. American Journal, Monday at 1230 on WBRE-TV. 
You're watching a Notre Dame special, the Ron Paulus era on WBRE TV. Now live from South Bend, Indiana, here's Jim Miller. Thank you very much and welcome back to Notre Dame Stadium, everyone. Later today, the Wolverines of Michigan and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. You can see it all right here on WBRE Television, TV 28, with the NBC Pictures coming your way right after this program at 2.30. What about the career of Ron Palace at Berwick High School? Let's talk about 1992, a state championship, a national championship, the state player of the year, the national high school player of the year, Parade Magazine Player of the Year, and then eventually on to the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Three years simply very, very special. The Ron Palace era began at Riverfront Stadium in Cincinnati, Ohio, several years ago, where the Bulldogs of Berwick took part in a major high school tournament showcasing some of the finest football teams in the country. It was right then and there that football experts knew that Ron Palace could be something very special. Well, Jim, I'll go back before, two years before that, as a sophomore, the youngster opened up in Riverfront Stadium in front of 40,000 people. You know, as a sophomore quarterback, and he was 17 for 23. That year, he made uh, one of the All-State teams as a 10th grader. He's handled pressure as a sophomore. I mean, I never had a youngster, you know, deal with the uh, situation the way he did as a 10th grader. Now, to answer your question about his senior year, Ron Pallas is oblivious to pressure. And I, I'll tell you the main reason why. He has that, that ability, probably more than anyone I've ever seen, to stay focused. And maybe it's because of his work ethic and the way he prepares for a game. But I've never seen a youngster just block everything out and focus on the game, the game plan, reading defenses, what has to be done on the field. He's amazing. I mean, the youngster just has that ability. And, and when he buttons that chin strap, there could be 200,000 people in that stadium. Nothing bothers him. USA Today didn't bother him. Pressure didn't bother him. Rankings didn't bother him. He is so thoroughly prepared every time he takes the field. I mean, he's, he becomes oblivious to that. And, and that's, that's why he's a great athlete. I think in any sport, Jim, you're a professional baseball player. I think in any sport, I think to, be, to get to that level, to get to the higher levels of competition, you have to have that ability, and he certainly has it. He had a great cast of characters that senior year, but his innate ability to perform under pressure and get the job done really led you to uh, the kind of championships you racked up here at Burroughs. Well, because of Ronnie's abilities and because of his uh, intelligence and, and the growth he's shown in three years, we really expanded our offense. And as I had many uh, 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 people in, in Division One level say, we do more than they did. And, and we did that because of Ron Palace, and he, we were able to utilize, you know, the great receivers around him, you know, the big fullback, you know, but it all started with Ron Palace. You know, he was the engineer, you know, he, he's the one who ran the show, he ran the, he, put, he pulled all the buttons, so to speak, and, and made things happen. But you have to have a kid that, can, that has the ability and the awareness and the smartness to give him that much responsibility to throw to, to eight different receivers maybe in the course of a game, uh, and run 35 formations a game, to shift, run all kind of sets, all kind of motion. To do that kind of stuff, you have to have a kid that just understands that playbook like you do. And certainly Ron Palace is that person. Ron Palace and company enjoyed huge success during his first two years at Berwick High School, and they continued to win Wyoming Valley and Eastern Conference football championships. Let's take it back to high school football. Your high school career had to be something very special for you. It certainly was. Uh, you know, it's the senior year just went, it just went perfect for, for everybody on the team, and uh, myself included. I mean, we, we struggled for a couple of years and had a, had a loss or two or three losses our junior year, and then our senior year just topped everything off. I mean, everything went right for the team. Everything went right for me. I was just real happy with everything that happened. After your junior year, what kind of pressure was that? Because you had to walk through a lot of minefields before you could even try and challenge for a state title. Yeah, it was it was difficult, but I, I, we were all aimed towards the same goal, and I, I really definitely wanted to work for the, or the state championship. and. Um, it wasn't too bad because everybody had the same goal in mind and we were all working for the same thing, so, so it worked out. The Palace family also shared in the world of their son as he made a name for himself at Berwick High School in football. The experience was positive, but at times it was nerve-wracking as well. 
It had to be special for you to watch your son go through high school. What were those moments like for you and your wife? Well, uh, it, it was a very special time for us. Um, I, uh, I just wish that uh, so many other parents would have had, had the same thrill and the excitements that my wife and I have had over the last four years here at Berwick. Um, Ronnie turned out to be a special player, and it was a special three years that he played here. We all love our children, and it's got to be quite an emotional thing for you and your family to watch your son perform because he's a gentleman on and off the field, and parents strive for that, and you've got to be very proud. Yeah, well, we certainly are proud. Ronnie has, I think Ronnie has, as parents, we are very proud of him. He's made us proud. I think uh, Berwick football and the community of Berwick is also proud, and uh, for a young man to be able to do that uh, is very pleasing to his parents. Well, that was a wonderful time for us. It was exciting. It was uh, breathtaking, actually. The first, the first year Ronnie played, I positively couldn't breathe mm -hmm. while he was in 10th grade as a quarterback. But I got a little better each year. <laughs> well, he progressed and started to get tremendous national attention. Did that change your family environment? Because I'm sure the phone was ringing off the hook and the mailman made three or four trips to your house today. What was that like? Well, it did it did um it evolved slowly i'll say but it did change things and uh we were a little overwhelmed uh by it but we always just felt so grateful we thought gee aren't we so lucky that mm -hmm. <laughs> that this is happening to us and we would every now and then we'd say thanks ronnie this is fun <laughs> I got to, I mean, my whole background, I got to totally credit my parents and Coach Curry. I mean, they really um, took care of me and let me know what I needed to know and, and, and pointed out what to do what's right and do the, do the, do the things that are, uh, need to be done to get a certain job done. And uh, they really, they really, uh, I thank them tremendously for what they've done. The high school career of Ron Palace was capped off by the ultimate effort as he led the Bulldogs of Berwick to the Pennsylvania AAA State High School Football Championship and the USA Today National Championship as he took himself and Berwick football to another level of competition. It was unreal. I mean, the whole game, you know, some games you know by halftime we're probably going to win or the third quarter. That game, I didn't realize it until I remember three minutes left. I looked at the clock and I said, wow, we're going to win this. I can't believe we're going to win the state championship. I looked over at Coach and we, I think we both started crying. I don't know. But it was it was such a great moment to realize that we accomplished the, 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 the highest goal that we could that we could accomplish on the field. It was it was the greatest feeling to do. Oh, that was wonderful. That was that was just unbelievable and yet as we were driving to that game we just we just believed it was going to happen you know it, it just it was the right time yeah we again we, we started out as the number one ranked team preseason nationally and uh, again we were focused for 15 straight weeks and we won 15 ball games and 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 when we got down there at Altoona in that state playoff game again it, 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 the focus just even became more more and more concentrated. Nothing bothers us. We, we weren't going to be denied. And, and, and again, it starts with that quarterback. He's the leader of that team. He's in the huddle. You know, he, he was just such a great all-around football player, Jim. Not only mechanically and, and athletically, I'm talking leadership-wise. He had, I just can't say enough. There are not enough words around to express what that kid did here. And uh, I just feel very fortunate to uh, have had the opportunity to work with a young man. I work with some great, great players here. And I was part of their growth, and I really enjoyed being part of their growth. But uh, this youngster here, tell you what, if they got the if they got the supporting cast, which I'm sure they do, you know, before he's finished at Notre Dame, now before he's finished, it won't be any different than it was here. He'll be he'll be the man. The awards then started to roll in. Palace was named the Gatorade National Player of the Year, and two weeks later, the Parade Magazine Award is the finest high school football player of the year to wrap up a storybook high school career with the Bulldogs of Berwick. Then the awards started to come in. The first one, I believe, was the uh, AAA uh, State Player of the Year. What did that feel like? Well, that was a nice award, uh, especially that was, I, I do believe that was the first award, so that made it really nice to... Uh, be recognized as a player of the year and um, it's it's always a nice honor to be recognized for anything and that was 
really nice. Then Parade Magazine, the National Player of the Year, and you, you had to start to wonder, wow, this thing is bigger than I ever thought it would be. Yeah, it did get very big, and it did get bigger than I realized it was. Uh, all of a sudden, I was on magazine covers, <laughs> and I was doing, I was going around the country. I was, uh, I know after my senior year, after the season ended, I think, uh, nine of the ten weekends I was out of town on some kind of trip somewhere out of, out of the state somewhere so it, it, was, it was fun I mean I got to see the country but it was it was it was a big deal were you prepared for what happened after that the the AAA state player of the year the parade magazine national player of the year what was that like because uh, this was your little baby I know <laughs> it, it was so unbelievable I, I don't know how else to tell you. I, you. You just have to believe that it's your moment in time, that that it, the, it, you're at the right place at the right time with the right coach in the right town. Everything was just designed perfectly, and you just have to feel grateful for that. Yeah. The impact that Ron Palace had on Berwick High School football will always be something special. For Palace is special in so many ways. Not just as a young athlete, but a fine young man who is now on to the next level of football. On the college level with the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. And the echoes of the Fighting Irish Band in the background as they make their way into Notre Dame Stadium. The recruiting wars concerning Ron Palace that led him to Notre Dame. We'll cover that story when we come back live from South Bend, Indiana. Final days are here. Save during your Quality Plus Ford dealer's factory authorized clearance. Get a great clearance deal on America's number one sellers. Now, drive the number one small car in America. Escort for just $189 a month. Now, don't wait any longer. $189 a month on Ford Escort. Get your best clearance deal on every Escort now. Ford's factory authorized clearance is in its final days. All these Fords are moving. Hurry, see your Quality Plus Ford dealer now. It's the 10-year anniversary of the new Northeast Fitness Centers. Now you can look and feel better, reduce weight and stress, build condition, plus as part of the celebration, all new members receive a free getaway vacation for two at any one of 25 great U.S. resorts. Now open 24 hours on weekdays with super weekend hours, the new Northeast Fitness Center is ready when you are. It's the area's most complete health and fitness facility and has been for over a decade. So stop in today and see why thousands of members have made the new Northeast Fitness Center the fitness solution in their lives. Unbelievable. What is, Diane? You won't believe it. Believe what? Bill Gray and Sons Furniture World, Route 11 in Berwick. Would you believe you can get anything you want for your home? And the prices and selections are second to none. They have been in business for over 40 years with quality furniture and the most unique accessories in four full floors. Plus a huge warehouse loaded with all kinds of furniture. Bill Gray and Sons Furniture World, Route 11, Berwick. They're open every evening till 8 p.m. and Saturdays 9 to 5. It's unbelievable. It's the best kept secret in northeastern Pennsylvania. Start the work and school week the right way. Join us Monday morning for Eyewitness News Sunrise. You're watching a Notre Dame special, the Ron Paulus era, on WBRE-TV. Now live from South Bend, Indiana, here's Jim Miller. And all of major college football in the end zone here at Notre Dame Stadium. Touchdown Jesus, the Irish of Notre Dame and the Wolverines of Michigan, and the home debut of former Berwick All-American quarterback Ron Powell. Obviously, the recording wars were far-reaching around this country, and George Curry, Mr. and Mrs. Palace, and Ron sat down between his junior and senior year, 1991 and 92, and came up with the game plan that would keep the pressure off Ron Palace so he could concentrate on his senior year in high school football. That was 1992, and you know something? It worked. When you have a talent like Ron Palace in high school, it becomes very apparent right away that you have a genuine national commodity highly sought after by every major college in the country. With that thought in mind, Berwick head coach George Curry and the Palace family set up major guidelines following Ron's junior season to make sure that nothing got out of hand. 
How difficult was it going through the recruiting process, or did you set rules and regulations? You just follow them very strictly. Well, I'm going to have to uh, credit Coach Curry on that one. He handled the whole situation. Uh, he laid out some ground rules before the season even began, and it was a wonderful experience. I know that there are a lot of parents who talk about the nightmares of uh, being recruited, but uh, Coach Curry handled that situation for us, and uh, it was a very pleasant experience. Were you surprised he picked Notre Dame? No. No, I'm going to tell you why. I took him around the spring of his junior year. We visited Notre Dame, Michigan. We spent some time up on that campus. Michigan State, Penn State. I must have had him at 10 or 12 colleges, you know, uh, during his high school career. And when we arrived on that Notre Dame campus, his junior year, okay, his dad was with him. I took his dad. It was... Uh, uh, Jason Soboleski, the kid, the youngster, our fullback, who's now at Pitt. But Ronnie just lit up. I just saw it. I saw something there. I told his dad, I said, he's coming here. I said, I'll tell you that right now. I have never seen him that way at any of the other campuses. And, you know, we spent a lot of time together, all of us, visiting these schools. We were, in the, we were on the practice field all day. We were together a lot. And the University of Notre Dame was a special place, and, and uh, Ron Paulus, it lit him up. It was like hitting a jackpot, and it's just, you can just see it in his eyes, and his, his mannerisms, his ways, he loved it. And, of course, Timmy Ruddy, who was from Dunmore, mm -hmm. took him out for pizza and, and spent a little time with him. And, you know, Ron, I mean, I knew it was over right then. He, he didn't come out and say it to me, but I just knew it, and his dad and I talked about it. We compared a lot of things after visits. We'd always sit down and compare a few things and talk about a few things, and... I just knew Notre Dame was the place. It was that kind of step that allowed Ron Pallas to concentrate on nothing but a senior year of high school football at Berwick. And looking back, it was the perfect way to handle a pressure-packed situation. Your family, Coach Curry, and yourself set down an agenda as far as the college situation was concerned. That had to take some of the pressure off so you could concentrate on your education as well as football. Yeah, it did. It took a lot of the pressure off. I mean, I... My senior year in high school and so far in the college has been, it's been fun. I mean, I, I've had I've had a good time doing what I was doing, and that was because there was so much pressure taken off me throughout the recruiting and and going into school and throughout that summer. And there was a lot of pressure taken off by a coach and and by uh, my parents and everything. Everybody worked together for me to have a, have an enjoyable time, and I really did. Then the the major choice, the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. What was that decision like for you? That was a, it was a very good, it was a nice decision. I mean, it was a time in my life where I finally figured out what I wanted to do, and I wanted to be at Notre Dame, and I liked the way they operate. I like the, I like the way people think of Notre Dame. I like the way um, they win. You know, I, all the things combined really made it nice, and it made it, a, uh, a, it made it, you know, the, the closer to the decision, the closer to my, my announcing it, the easier it became to realize it was the right choice, and especially once I got going there and that summer, everything seemed perfect, so I had no problems. On this program, we're going to look at uh, that afternoon when you made the announcement. Looking back on the afternoon, that was that was quite an afternoon because everybody in it seemed like northeastern Pennsylvania was in that room for you. Yeah, it, it was a, it was a great afternoon. It was a, it was a, a it was a very big event. You know, there were six of us signing that day, announcing that day. And, um, I know I, I hear all kinds of stories from people out at, out at school and out in Indiana that were calling somewhere back here, probably calling you guys to, to find out what I was doing. And, I mean, it really was. It really got a lot of attention. It was, it was huge. But it was nice to see that I had so much support. I mean, everybody supported me throughout it all, and it was very comforting to have that kind of support. Well, it was a very emotional afternoon for us. Uh, it was. There was a, a lot of question about where Ronnie was going to go. Uh, we we knew in our hearts where we wanted him to go, and I believe it was Notre Dame. And uh, it was a very emotional and a very special afternoon for us. How was that right afternoon when he had the big press conference? and I believe uh, several Berg players announced where they were going, and then it was his time to step before that microphone and say Notre Dame. What was that like? <laughs> My heart was jumping out of me. It was 
we knew then what Ronnie was going to say, and we hadn't told anyone. And we we only really discussed it openly at our house for the, la the co a couple of days before that, really, and not too much even because it was sacred almost. <laughs> so it was oh, it was oh, so exciting, and we were, we couldn't believe all the attention it, it drew and all the people who were so interested. It, it's it was just well the time of our life really. <laughs> I finally realized where I wanted to be, what I want to be doing with myself, and I've decided to go to the University of Notre Dame. With those words, Christmas came once again to South Bend, Indiana. The most sought-after high school player in the country, Ron Paulus, ended the speculation, choosing Notre Dame over the University of Pittsburgh to continue his athletic and academic career. I felt good about Notre Dame all along. I never really wanted to put it in my head that it was Notre Dame until the end because I didn't want to make the wrong decision. I didn't want to make a rash decision like that. So uh, Pittsburgh's a great school, as is Notre Dame, uh, Miami and Penn State, but I felt like Notre Dame is where I wanted to be. Notre Dame is a special place and I felt that when I was there um, it's a beautiful campus and it um, it just has a thread of decency and tradition that runs through it that um, felt good to me the state's most prolific passer with over 7,300 yards gained through the air Ron says he eliminated Miami and Penn State from the sweepstakes for no particular reason no, there's nothing in particular that they did wrong or that, they, that I didn't like about them. It was a case of me liking all four schools, but I felt like Notre Dame and Pittsburgh I liked better and they were better for me. One of the first times I saw Lou Holtz walk onto the field, he walked on the field, he put his arm around my son. I looked up and saw the Gold Dome. I mean, it's a, it's a very, very special feeling for a father. Uh, whether he decided to go there or not, it, it was, like I said, a very special feeling. It's a day that I'll never forget. He's just a poised young man. He's a quality young man. He's he's, a, he's an intelligent youngster, and it's unbelievable. He's, he's a fine young man. And you're looking at not only an exceptional athlete, you're looking at an exceptional youngster. You know, if people are going to call me number one, then that's great, and I'm, and I'm thrilled. But I just, I just did my best to have fun and be excited about the whole thing, and, that, and that's the way it works. So with the announcement history, it was time to move on as Ron Palace was off to the fighting hours at Notre Dame in South Bend, Indiana, but eventually yet another major hurdle to overcome. You are looking at the star of this show, former Burry Gold American quarterback Ron Pallas. He's roughly 35 minutes away from his debut in a Notre Dame uniform here in South Bend, Indiana. It's been three years since Ron Give the Rocket Ismael performed his magic with the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame, and he still is down in history as one of the most electrifying players in the history of Fighting Irish football. When you talk about Michigan and Notre Dame, you must consider the impact made by former Myers All-Stater, Ragib the Rocket Ismael. Rocket Ismael electrified the fighting hours of Notre Dame and the major college football world as one of the most dangerous players to ever wear the uniform of the fighting Irish. Rocket's career took off in a most explosive way against the Wolverines of Michigan as a sophomore when he returned back-to-back -back kickoffs for touchdowns and leading the Irish to a major victory over the Wolverines of Michigan before better than 100,000 fans in Ann Arbor. That placed him directly on the cover of Sports Illustrated magazine magazine and the rest was history well as they call him in the locker room he's going to be in a sports illustrated game meaning if he does well in this game he can either take off or if it doesn't work as well it can go the opposite way and i know the, pre the preparation he's put in he's going to take off it's going to be a lot of excitement a lot of anticipation perhaps a little nervousness but after the first couple of snaps he's going to settle right in and lead Notre Dame to a victory scrap <laughs> rocket ismael handled the pressure every time out in a football career that was highlighted by nothing less than the spectacular it was climaxed by this punt return that was called back in the Orange Bowl against the Colorado Buffaloes that would have given Notre Dame another national championship. He has all the confidence in the world that Ron Pallas can too make his mark with the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Definitely, and Coach Holtz really does a good job of preparing you, especially if he knows you're going to have to to play or perform. Mm -hmm. So he's in good hands. Ron is he's in very good hands, and fortunately for him. At Berwick, 
similar situations as far as pressure, so I think he'll be able to handle it. Finally, he told me what you told me years ago, that everything is even larger than life at Notre Dame. Definitely. It's more mind-boggling once you're there, and I kind of realize it even after I'm away from Notre Dame environment. When I went back to get my, grad, my degree uh, this past May, I couldn't believe just the, the magnitude that it still had, and I had been gone from Notre Dame football for like three years. It was still enormous. So Rocket Ismael joins us all later today in enjoying the home debut of Ron Palace as we all watch the parade of athletes carrying the Pennsylvania torch of greatness on to the national level. Notre Dame Stadium is starting to fill up. We're roughly 25 minutes now away from kickoff, and we come back. We'll check out the exploits of another former Berwick All-Stater and All-American, Jake the State Kelsner. We're live from South Bend, Indiana. Attorney Joe Quinn has been recognized in the book The Best Lawyers in America for each of the past five years. There is nothing more rewarding than helping the seriously injured seek just compensation. If you've been seriously injured, you deserve to be represented by someone with a proven track record. I guarantee you, we have that record, and no one will work harder for you than we will. You've always strived for something beyond the basic necessities. At the First National Bank of Berwick, we can help with a loan for whatever you have in mind. Home loans, auto loans, or personal loans, tailored to meet your individual needs at rates you can afford. So if you're ready to borrow, the First National Bank of Berwick is ready to lend. Because we invest in our future by investing in your future. The First National Bank of Berwick, in touch with you, member FDIC. People. People who are committed to the future of the community. That's the Penn Miller's difference. People committed to getting the job done. In the office or working side by side with you in community activities. Penn Miller's people are your neighbors, neighbors who care. We're proud to be the insurance company with a policy to care. American Journal, Monday at 12.30 on WBRE-TV. You're watching a Notre Dame special, the Ron Paulus era, on WBRE-TV. Now live from South Bend, Indiana, here's Jim Miller. Thank you very much, a college football specialty. Some fans tailgating just outside Notre Dame Stadium, the Wolverines and the Fighting Irish of Michigan right here on TV 28 in about 20 minutes or so. Well, the Berwick-Notre Dame connection started in the mid-1980s when Jay Kelster did almost the same thing that Ron Paulus did. He led the Bulldogs to the state championship. Jake was named the National Player of the Year. The State Player of the Year went on to the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Things really didn't work out for Jake Kelsner here at Notre Dame. He went on to play for the Mountaineers of West Virginia, and in 20 minutes, he'll join us all to watch the career develop of another Berwick All-American great, Ron Powell. Jake Kelster enjoyed a wonderful high school career in Burry, capped off by a sensational victory in the championship game over Aliquippa in the mid-1980s that gave the Bulldogs the state title and the national championship. Kelster was named the state's player of the year to climax his high school career and eventually went on to Notre Dame. Let's turn the clock back. Uh, you were the first quarterback to lead the Bulldogs of Berwick to a state championship against uh, Aliquippa in Hershey. Looking back on your career, it had to be a tremendous positive for you. It was, it was, I can't explain it to you. It was the greatest thing that has happened to me. It's one of the greatest moments I'll ever have in my life. Uh, when we came back, I remember after the Middletown game, the semi-final uh, game, the score came up, Aliquippa had like, 50, it was one fifty-five to 6 mm -hmm. in the semifinals, and we struggled through ours. So everyone in the stands, just a big hush goes over the crowd. So we're nervous the whole week, and we're watching them on film, and, well, we just got to go out and give it all we got. It's all we can do. And we went out there, and, my God, our team came together, and we won. You were the big school player of the year. Personally, what did that mean to you? I, could, I couldn't believe I won it. I wanted to win it. I remember my parents were there, and it was like 2,000 people down at Hershey, and I was like, 
Oh my gosh, <laughs> I got out there and I was like, choking up a little bit even. It was, it was a very emotional thing. It was one of the greatest awards I've ever could receive. Uh, it's something that's, you know, it's a very honorable award. And then what? The recruiting process was basically underway and you narrowed it down and the decision came to Notre Dame and you had the massive press conference at the school. What was it like when you realized that I am now at that point going to Notre Dame? It was great because I can actually, I can remember sitting in my bedroom and I wonder where I'm going to be in another year from now or a few months from now. And finally I made the decision and it was like, it was a big relief. And now I could start could put all that all that away and start thinking about playing now again because it for the longest time it was such a it was a hectic time and I, I got away from actually playing a game in, instead of you know practicing and stuff like that and worrying about where I'm gonna go and stuff like mm -hmm. that well I finally got that decision made and I got back to playing again he almost lost his football career after Notre Dame, but managed to bounce back. And a second chance at West Virginia let Jake Kalster come all the way back and finish his football career on a high and winning note. Well, I made a few mistakes at Notre Dame, and I got down on myself. And I kept trying to pull myself up, but a couple things happened one hour after another, and then I said, all right, it's time to leave. i got to start over again. So I talked to Don Nealon and a couple people from West Virginia, and they were really anxious for me i got my confidence back because they were they believed in me again and i could just start the whole thing over again and it was great it really was as you look back on your mountaineer career you've got to be pleased because only you could do it and you got the job done right it was some a lot of people thought i was washed up uh it was something to actually go in there and uh there was a starting quarterback there already it was it was hard in the beginning because i had to sit out another year and it was killing me to sit out and uh Finally, I got the opportunity, and I'll never forget the first snap I took. I was <laughs> shaking on my shoes, but after that play was over, and I got into it, and I go, man, I'm finally home. It's got to be a monumental relief to be back in the major college spotlight when there may have been times when you wondered if you'd ever get that opportunity again. There was. It was definitely. Uh, after I left Notre Dame, I really was wondering if I'd ever, if I was, I'd been out of the game too long. I might have lost my instincts and things like that, but... I sat there and I go, there's no way, there's no, and there's no way I can just forget everything. I can work and I'll get it back. And it happened, it really did. Well, Jake's another big timer and, uh, and, and again, he, he's certainly one of the all-time greats. I mean, not only in Berwick, I mean everywhere. Jake Kelsner led us to our first 15 and 0 when we beat Aliquippa with Sean Gilbert. Uh, he's, he's done some things here the fans will never forget. Jim, he, he, he's a superstar and a very strong arm. and, and we're just so proud of him also. I mean, it's, you know, Jake did a great job down at West Virginia. He had a super college career down there. He's finished now. Now it's Ron's turn. Hopefully when he's finished, someone else will carry the torch. The careers of Jake Kelster and Ron Pallas are strikingly similar. All everything in high school, same numbers, same success, same injuries. And Jake Kelster knows full well what Ron Pallas can expect with the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Your friend here at Berwick, Ron Paulus, your careers parallel one another. Uh, big school players of the year, state championships, Notre Dame. Uh, it's kind of ironic that that, uh, that that happens once again. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. He wore number seven and everything. And I watched him on film. Coach, I came in to see Coach, and he put on the film, and I thought he short, you know, had me on there. Uh, and I was watching it for a while, and I thought it was me. And then all of a sudden, he said, this is Paulus. Wow, I couldn't, it was an unbelievable resemblance. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. What do you tell him about Notre Dame? Is there anything you can pass along to him about those kind of pressures out there? Well, I talked to him and I said, people want me to come up and talk to you about these things, but you've been in the press all, nationwide. I mean, there's, it's just the same thing, except there's a few more reporters in, you know, in Berwick. Mm -hmm. But uh, he, he knows how to handle I don't gotta tell him anything he doesn't already know. Uh, I just told him out there, you really, it, you got to stay focused on, on what you're doing out there. You can't get distracted by anything outside of school and football. you got to stay. And, and that's how he is. He's a, he's a good kid like that, and he had no problem with that. It's ironic how your career parallels the career of another Bulldog and Jay Kelschner, uh, uh, state championships, player of the year, Notre Dame, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm, yeah, and we're both getting a little late start on, on what's going on. He broke his collarbone out there, too. And, um, you know, there are a lot of a lot of things that are similar between Jake and I. Not only our playing styles, but I mean, what did happen to us, as you just said, with the with the championships and the players of the year and things. And um, you know, that's fine with me. I mean, Jake Jake had a Jake 
Jake's career went, went quite well for him. You know, once he finally settled down in, in West Virginia, he, he had a super season this year. So, you know, that's all right with me to be paralleled with a kid like Jake. So it's another Burley grade in the national spotlight. And Ron Palace takes the ball from Jake Kalster and looks to go even further in a career that has greatness written all over it, even at this very early stage. Booze ringing out here at Notre Dame Stadium, greeting the Michigan band down on the field. When we come back, we'll show you the ultimate pep rally last night. We're live with the Ron Powler Show from South Bend, Indiana. The final days are here. Save during your Quality Plus Ford dealer's factory authorized clearance. Get a great clearance deal on America's number one sellers now. You can drive America's number one truck, a Ford F-150 XLT, for just $2.29 per month now. Or drive a Ford Ranger for just $1.99 per month now. Don't wait any longer. Ford's factory authorized clearance is at its final days. All these Fords are moving. Hurry, see your Quality Plus Ford dealer now. It's the 10-year anniversary of the new Northeast Fitness Centers. Now you can look and feel better, reduce weight and stress, build condition, plus as part of the celebration, all new members receive a free getaway vacation for two at any one of 25 great U.S. resorts. Now open 24 hours on weekdays with super weekend hours, the new Northeast Fitness Center is ready when you are. It's the area's most complete health and fitness facility and has been for over a decade. So stop in today and see why thousands of members have made the new Northeast Fitness Center the fitness solution in their lives. Attorney Joe Quinn has been recognized in the book The Best Lawyers in America for each of the past five years. If you've been seriously injured, it's important that you choose an attorney with a proven track record. I guarantee you, we have that record in courtrooms throughout this Commonwealth for 25 years. And no one will work harder for you than we will. Eyewitness News, proud to be a three-time Emmy nominee. You're watching a Notre Dame special, The Ron Paulus Era, on WBRE-TV. Now live from South Bend, Indiana, here's Jim Miller. You are looking at the Wolverines of Michigan fighting marching band just concluding. Hail to the victors. We're moments away from kickoff. The game between the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame and the Wolverines of Michigan. And the home debut of very goal American quarterback Ron Powell. Let's turn the clock back to last night. The ultimate pep rally in the Athletic and Convocation Center for the spirit, which is Notre Dame football. We now turn to Tom Honnold. You are looking at the Joyce Athletic and Convocation Center here in a campus at the University of Notre Dame. This place has seen its share of excitement over the years, but in just a few minutes... A different kind of excitement as over 12,000 fans packed the ACC to wake up the echoes for the Notre Dame pep rally. Besides the pop and pageantry, the spirit of this rally is one of tradition, unity, and of course, leading the Irish to victory. After hearing from their warriors, it's time for the head man to send the crowd into a frenzy. For a certain area standout, it's a time of pride and appreciation. Never, ever, ever in my house dream. <laughs> this is too much. Wonderful excitement. It's great. <laughs> it's really kind of hard to believe, to be honest with you. It's almost like uh, uh, we're living in a dream out here. Notre Dame has history, Notre Dame has tradition, but most of all, Notre Dame has spirit, which showed all over the campus. One of the great things about it is its, it's ruling principle is a female. You know, its real mascot is the, the Blessed Virgin, the lady on the dome. It's not a dog or an alligator or a cat. So it has all those mythological uh, connotations. So there you have it, all the sights and all the sounds. And if you're a Notre Dame fan like me, there's nothing like it. Tom Honnold, Eyewitness Sports. 
Thank you, Tom. The Fighting Irish of Notre Dame and Michigan back and forth with their pep bands, and it's amazing this series ends this year for a couple of years. They resumed the series in 1997, and it's also amazing how many players from Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania have appeared in the Notre Dame-Michigan series. One who played in four major wars here, former GAR All-Stater out of Michigan, Greg Skrepinak. He was an All-American at Michigan and finished second in the country for the Outland Trophy as college football's top lineman. But Greg Skrepinak will always remember those showdowns against the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. The battles were fierce, the losses terribly frustrating, and the wins the ultimate high. When Greg Skrepinak remembers college football, he remembers Michigan and Notre Dame. People take that series for granted. You have Michigan and Notre Dame, two of the most winning uh, Division One A, the winningest football teams uh, of all time. Uh, as a matter of fact, most people don't know this, and I gotta plug it. Uh, but Michigan is the only Division One A team to have a winning record against Notre Dame. It's like 15, 10, and one or something like that. But we still hold that edge. Uh, my my whole career was uh, climaxed by the fact that during my senior year we beat Notre Dame, and it's not giving other team other teams that we played. Uh, down, downplay. It's just given, you know, there was a special feeling to beat Notre Dame because of all the great teams they've had and all the national championships they've won. Uh, and, you know, it's, a, it's too bad it's that early in the season, but it's a heck of a way to start the season. It is time now for the Wolverines and Michigan alums like Greg Skrapenak to brace for the Ron Paulus experience. And while Greg is proud of the fact that another Wyoming Valley Conference grad has made it, he does not wish Ron Paulus all that much luck against his former college football team. For a kid from Berwick High School making his first start at, at Notre Dame in that stadium against the Wolverines, what will go through his emotional psyche? Well, he's gonna, you know, he's gonna be in awe over the uh, stadium size. It's not gonna be as loud as he thought it would be, but he's gonna be in awe to see all the people. He'll come out uh, during the pregame and, and, and see the stadium and think to himself, "Wow, oh, this place isn't gonna get filled." <laughs> but once he runs out during game time, he's gonna see. He's gonna say, "Wow." And uh, he might get a little jitters, but I think the kid's mature enough now. Uh, he went through a, a bad time last year with the collarbone, you know, a broken collarbone. But you know, he's going to have a tough time because Michigan, I think, has a pretty experienced team coming back. Uh, but I think he could handle it. Um, not that I want to see him do uh, good, but <laughs> I think he's going to be fine. But uh, you know, I'm always going to be for Michigan, man. I hope you know, I don't want to see him break his collarbone, but I, you know, I hope it's sore a little bit after the game. Greg Skrapenak is now a member of the NFL's Los Angeles Raiders and has a keen interest in the football game this afternoon as once again fans in northeastern and central Pennsylvania can see another in a long line of high school football stars making it big on the national level. It is almost time for Ron Palace and we'll wrap it up from Notre Dame as we come right back from South Bend. You've always strived for something beyond the basic necessities. At the First National Bank of Berwick, we can help with a loan for whatever you have in mind. Home loans, auto loans, or personal loans, tailored to meet your individual needs at rates you can afford. So if you're ready to borrow, the First National Bank of Berwick is ready to lend. Because we invest in our future by investing in your future. The First National Bank of Berwick, in touch with you, member FDIC. It's the 10-year anniversary of the new Northeast Fitness Centers. Now you can look and feel better, reduce weight and stress, build condition, plus as part of the celebration, all new members receive a free getaway vacation for two at any one of 25 great U.S. resorts. Now open 24 hours on weekdays with super weekend hours, the new Northeast Fitness Center is ready when you are. It's the area's most complete health and fitness facility and has been for over a decade. So stop in today and see why thousands of members have made the new Northeast Fitness Center the fitness solution in their lives. People. People who are committed to the future of the community. That's the Penn Miller's difference. People committed to getting the job done. In the office or working side by side with you in community activities. Penn Miller's people are your neighbors, neighbors who care. We're proud to be the insurance company with a policy to care. American Journal, Monday at 12.30 on WBRE-TV. Ladies and gentlemen, it is here. Notre Dame in Michigan, the home debut of former Berwick All-American quarterback Ron Palace coming your way right here on WBRE-TV 28. 
Many thanks to Ron, his family, George Curry out of Berwick, the crew out here in South Bend, the crew back in Wilkesbury. Enjoy Notre Dame football next coming up on WBRE TV 28. Goodbye from South Bend, Indiana. Notre Dame football, the Ron Paulus era, was brought to you in part by the law offices of Horrigan, Pluger, Sporer, and Quinn. First National Bank of Berwick, we're always in touch with you. Pennsylvania Miller's Insurance Company, the insurance company with a policy to care. Ford, your quality plus Ford dealers. Northeast Fitness, your fitness solution. And Bill Gray and Sons Furniture World, furnishing homes for 42 years.